So B. Simone guys is causing major controversy again and I feel like this year has been a year of controversy for her throughout and now it seems that people are even more upset with her. Hey guys, it's Morag Morali, hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch and let's just get straight into this video and please don't go send any hate to B. Simone. Thank you so much. So it seems that she's speaking about Danny Lay and how she is, you know, dating um, baby, I believe. And the way she is talking about this is very weird because she's putting herself down. The comedian says that Latinas have the upper hand when joking about DaBaby and Danny Lay's relationship. Her crush on DaBaby has been well documented. So now that the rapper has locked things down with Danny Lay, B. Simone has a few things to say. The comedian shared a video where she cracked a few jokes about the relationship but the public thought she was taking digs at Danny Lay and soon B. Simone was once again facing backlash online. The B is fly, I'm not a hater. She's effing beautiful, she's Latin. Latin Bs already have the upper hand, said B. Simone. Speak two languages, spiciness, it's in your blood, it's not fair. And soon B. Simone critics took to social media to condemn her comments saying, I wasn't going to address this, but here effing goes, said, said B. Simone. This generation is so effing stupid. That's all you guys, whatever you guys think is trend is true. The comedian then did a bit where she asked Siri who the baby's girlfriend is. Initially, Siri says it's B. Simone, but after glitching, iPhone's automated assist assistant changed the answer. Basically, a lot of people are um, irritated with her because they are seeing her basically put her race down and she's out here, you know, uplifting Latin women by saying that they have the upper hand, they're just more beautiful. Latin already had the upper hand. Women like Beast Moon make people so comfortable disrespecting black women. How are we gonna win if people are under boat drilling a hole in it when we're not looking? I hate seeing black women do this in video. Stop blitzing yourself on social media. I can't stress this enough. So B. Simone is a self-hating colorist. Okay, so Danny Lay has the upper hand on you because she's Latina. You do know Latinas can be dark skinned too, right? Why is B. Simone self-degrading herself and praising Danny Lay and calling Latinas, you know, yeah. So basically because Danny Lay is more light skinned with curly hair, you feel insecure, but where was this energy when the baby was very much with the dark skinned baby mother? Why would you belittle yourself, compare yourself to another race? So people are, you know, critiquing here about it. Of course, I don't think she meant any serious malice intent with it. I don't, but as a public figure, again, if you're gonna say controversial stuff like this, you know, I like to say that this person has the upper hand, um, it could, she could also be referring to how society views people and how society is projected on how some is, you know, seen more beautiful and others are not based on white supremacy archetypes. She could be, you know, reflecting on society's projection, which is one example, you know, one theory. The other theory is that perhaps she just feels like, you know, there's an upper hand here and that she just is putting her race down. I feel like it's something that she really shouldn't be doing to her large forms of followers. But I can see why people would be upset with her, but I also can see why this has been massively amplified. What are your thoughts, guys? Because she is getting it online all over again. But I feel like she will just ignore it and, um, it might just benefit her in the long run, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Subscribe, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.